In this tutorial, I'll be talking about how to develop a game in using Flutter, and um, uh, we will be talking about Flutter um, game engine, which is called Flame. And um, I will be talking about um, about how to understand our low-level API provided by the Flame engine. So there are some um, some lower-level APIs. Some APIs mean some of the classes uh, provided by the Flame engine and um, i will be discussing more in detail about this one and um, some of the 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 most important uh, uh, classes uh, provided our flame engine is called loadable game uh, game classes oxygen game classes game widget flame uh, component class you know and other components class like position components you know and um, so what is the difference between all those classes there are two difference between those classes what is uh, so some kind of classes are called mixins where others are called normal classes and the normal classes actually use the mixins and the mixins are pro properly like kind of a um, kind of a higher level classes which is uh, pretty much um, they are designed uh, in such a way that uh, you can reuse the code you know so you can reuse this class either in oxygen game normal class or you can use also in the component class as you can see here the game class this the this game mixin can be used in oxygen game it can be used in game widget it can be used in flame game engine you know as you can see here so i will be discussing about these components how to create how to create mixins your you can also create your custom mixins and you can um, create custom mixins with custom methods functionalities you know and so this is like I will make you understand the um, how the flame game engine is structured and how to understand this lower level API in the flame game engine right so and also as you can see in the diagram that you are using this mixin using the keyword a special keyword that is called width okay so there are some special classes like game while you use with the game widget you can use a special keyword like on you know you can use loadable with this um, uh, on keyword in this game engine like game class is used um, this game mixing is used with uh, once class uh, once keyword and some of normal classes can use the game uh, mixing using with keyword but most especially you used with keyword to use the mixing okay so uh, I will now create a very simple custom mixin you know it's very simple just you need to use the keyword mixin my custom mixin it's pretty simple and you just need to do something uh, so that means you are uh, providing some some methods you know so it's pretty simple how to cre create the mixin and you can pretty simple you can uh, use this mixin is by using using a keyword with keyword right as I told you before and you can pretty much override this method that uh, I have written is do something okay so that's pretty much simple you have here you just created your mixin your custom mixin and you can uh, re use this mixin uh, okay so that this is the simple concept of how to use the mixin and this mixin concept is kind of a lower level API concept in flame game engine okay so it is uh, so okay let's understand now uh, in detail how, why we need mixin and why uh, the flame game engine is structured in this way so uh, mixing is like kind of a way to share code so as I already told you before you don't need to if you um, have some classes uh, that is reutilized in multiple other classes then you ha can create a mixin so that you can you don't need to duplicate your code right so th this is a simple reason why we create mixins okay so it's kind of similar to inheritance but it's not actually because because um, uh, um, because they don't define a new class hierarchy okay so that is the difference between the uh, inheritance with the mixin so they don't uh, define a class hierarchy 
so guys and um, uh, there are some different special kind of mixins right for example uh, like uh, So uh, extends flame game uh, with uh, simulton, simulton, a single game instance. So this is also a kind of a mixin which is pretty much acts like a singleton. So that is only one one instance of the game. Uh, this uh, game in uh, class is created, right? But uh, you can use this single game instance only uh, if your class is extending the game engine. If it is extending a component, you cannot use it. As you can see here so this mixins can be used only with the flame game or or any class that extends game right uh, but you have to override those methods so uh, yeah so this is the concept and uh, what else guys uh, okay so this is all about the theoretical part but I want uh, uh, I want to make a simple game so that uh, creating using the mixins uh, uh, provided by the game engines uh, and then uh, uh, to make you understand much better okay so let's create a game simple game okay so uh, in this uh, simple game I will be creating a simple uh, um, uh, simple ball bouncing game okay so to create this simple uh, like first step so always when you create a game the first step is always to uh, is to create components okay your components as I already told you that uh, mm, your game co uh, consists of components and like a ball or squares or circles any components you know sprites you know sprite components so there are different kind of a co already provided components by frame mm, game engine and also you can create a custom components like I'm creating a custom component which is like a kind of a, it's like a ball component okay which will extend uh, all this circle component and which will be using a mixing okay so the first mixing it will be using is this as game reference and second is the collision callbacks mixing okay so let's go step by step so what I'm doing here is I'm extending my, I'm creating a custom component which is a ball component I want uh, so this com component okay uh, it's like a your structure of your game okay so it's like a ball okay actually uh, in a simple words but what it is doing it's extending a circle component circle component is already provided in components um, uh, what it does is creates a circle with a radius and a position okay and that's it it's a very simple component which is already provided our film game engine right and um, uh, uh, so what is a has game reference but this is a mixin okay has game reference is a mixin which provides a uh, instance um, so uh, a reference of your game is provided okay so using this mixin so you uh, you you provide the reference of your current game object okay so this is the simple reason why user it's as, as you can see here the name has game reference so it's pretty much this mixin is providing your game reference okay um, object so you can uh, uh, so access the game uh, reference okay the the current game reference or uh, with using this mixin so that's it and um, uh, collision callback mixing is pretty much uh, as you can see here it's also provided by our flame game engine and it's pretty much helps you to detect the collision between two uh, components okay and uh, using this collision callbacks you can you have to override colliding with okay 
uh, and on collision start what you want to do you can override pretty much all those implement all those uh, functionality or methods provided by this mixing so okay let's do it step by step so what i have to do first to create this components we have to create a constructor so our constructor uh, as i told you your ball has a uh, uh, okay the color of your ball is um, okay i want a red ball which uh, as i told you the radius your circle component consists of the radius property so i want the radius of the ball to be 50 okay and then now okay so similarly what we have to do we have to always implement these two methods uh, uh, while using this um, while creating components there are two important methods that you have to use on load and on up update and update okay so this is called only once and but this is called multiple times in this time frame so that is uh, this time delta time dt uh, this time frame you update your ball component repeatedly so this is called re multiple times uh, in with this time time frame so uh, deadly called once okay so here we have to update our mm, ball component so we update the velocity okay and um, the position okay so like position we update the position of this um, uh, but what we want to update the position means with the velocity right i want the velocity so let dot so this is a, a 2d vector uh, velocity so i want the uh, velocity i want to update the velocity with this time frame okay because i want to multiply and add the position so i want to shift the position of my ball right mm, in this time so every time like if uh, in this time frame i update the position so that means the ball is moving so this is a simple code that pretty much uh, makes your ball move okay you update your component and on the on load what we have to do is like we load our components initialize our component so so pretty much we have to first uh, reset your ball component okay what do you do you provide your position of the ball that is it's in the middle of your uh, your game uh, and then it moves it starts from the middle the position starts from the middle then it starts moving right so now then uh, always you know your canvas has a y-axis and x-axis so x-axis is pretty much like your horizontal um, uh, lens uh, like uh, horizontal uh, it's like a horizontal bar and a graph okay and y-axis is pretty much like your uh, vertical uh, bar right so uh, I have to also actually import uh, that uh, math okay because I want to calculate the uh, horizontal is like pretty much denoted by x cos so now i have my uh, uh, spawn angle i want to get the spawn angle and my spawn angle will be pretty much like um, uh, a linearly interpreted random number between 0 and 360 
and uh, which is pretty much generated by a random mm, number mm, it's double and uh, it's like the of so spawn mm, angle into degree so I also want to have my degree as like uh, constant double uh, no it's like a degree math of pi by 180 degree and uh, pretty much I also need a mm, yeah I need a degree so that's a degree and uh, I also need a speed because I want to mm, calculate the velocity by this right so i also need a speed so uh, static constant speed it's like a uh, double speed equals to i want my speed to be let's say 400 okay so i want the velocity of y axis is always a sign and uh, axis is it's like um, uh, horizontal axis and uh, then I return the velocity uh, x v y so after that uh, on load uh, I have to pretty much uh, reset your ball component and then I have to add um, uh, hit box uh, which is like a circle hit box of a radius uh, mm, the, the custom radius and I add uh, the component and I want to add the hit box right uh, obviously I don't have to return this and obviously I don't have and because it's asynchronous uh, so that's it guys and uh, yeah so now also actually I have I still haven't implemented the mm, the mix in call mm, collision callback so I have to implement this uh, uh, on collision uh, start so when your collision will start what happens when your collision will start so uh, I want to do some update uh, and I want to if um, the collision happens to your edge of your screen uh, like a, your screen hit box then you your your ball has to uh, move back right so this is uh, what how are you move back your uh, like bounce your ball right so you hide, ha have kind of a bouncing effect on your ball so how uh, so if other means your position component okay so that gives your position is a hit your is hit box and then you uh, collision point so you hit your uh, screen hit box okay so that means that your edge of your screen game canvas screen and intersection points uh, first so i will um, so when your position is a uh, is in the screen hit box that means it has collided so you get your first intersection points that is your collision point and um, now you update your uh, your position so here what happens is like a collision you you have a left side collision so here point so how do you get uh, left side collision when your x-axis equals to zero that means your initial position uh, so when you collide then you have to uh, uh, go to the opposite direction that means you bounce back you know so that means you uh, go back uh, if 
there is a left side collision so that means if left side collision that means it's horizontal collision so that means we are just update only the x position and uh, the y position remains same and similarly you have a uh, right side right position collision which is always horizontal axis uh, axis which is x right so the right side collision is um, when your game reference dot x dot uh, game reference dot uh, size dot x okay so so when your um, uh, collision point x axis okay is equals to the the far end of your game size so that means like the end of your x axis that means the right side collision so that is on the other side the other end right so similarly also here uh, you move uh, opposite direction of your position that means you bounce back and uh, this is how it happens and similarly you can also do the same it's pretty simple guys so there is a horizontal axis and there is a vertical axis which is always a y direction and uh, which is like first the top side where your y axis is zero and uh, your x axis doesn't change but your y axis will change and you have a bottom that is uh, your vertical side where your y uh, is like pretty much same and nothing changes in the x-axis but y-axis changes here so it's pretty simple guys you see here and uh, uh, okay so now we have created our components okay so this is our first step now what is the second step the second step you have to create your uh, create your game class okay so how do you create your game class it's pretty much um, simple my bouncing ball game which extends obviously flame game and uh, okay and uh, uh, that's it guys you can use on load method but okay if you don't use on load if it doesn't override you can pretty much generate and override you have to override uh, the onload method okay and uh, it's pretty much a void which doesn't return anything and you add a uh, array of components okay so i have two components here a screen hitbox and i have a ball component okay that i have just recently created so it's pretty simple guys and then finally you have to run your um, uh, app and in this app you pass in within your game widget uh, you pass your uh, what was the name of the my bouncing ball game my bouncing ball game you just pretty much pass your game in your game widget and run your game so now pretty much guys it's pretty simple and uh, I want to run my game my game is completely it's completed it's pretty simple in one uh, file I have created a bouncing ball game so let me run uh, in my web uh, browser um, actually you can also try it also on your emulator it will run the same so okay uh, here I have uh, just um, with the school is in detection mixings okay um, okay uh, let me close this and run it again guys
okay as you can see here there is a ball bouncing right and uh, I want to check one thing uh, is yeah, I want to just uh, change some something like maybe I want my sp speed to be 100 I want to make it slow yeah as you can see here your ball is get bouncing right as you can see here it's pretty much bouncing and uh, yeah guys so that's the game guys and you can also pretty much uh, change your uh, background color I would like to be um, call change my background color not black but I want to uh, 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 sorry guys it's not equals to colors uh, colors with uh, 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 255 22 23 24 let me see this random color is black uh okay i want this uh one two two uh it's red uh two three okay i think this color is good okay let me okay sorry sorry guys i have to okay let me run this again and i will see some difference here okay sorry uh okay you can see here the game I changed the background color it's pretty simple right so that's it guys I hope you like this uh, tutorial and uh, if you really like this tutorial please help me by subscribing or writing your comments if you like it and I'll be coming with uh, more uh, tutorials in the uh, game development using flutter thank you very much and uh, just Enjoy your flutter.